Hey lady, welcome back. It's your girl here, Sharonda Simone, and I'm back with another video. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my first use of the Kiss Falscara Eyelash Extension Kit. You guys already know that I love anything that enhances my natural eyebrows as well as my eyelashes. So when I saw this Kiss Lash Extension Kit, I had to grab it and try it out. Now trust me, if you can use mascara, then you can use Kiss Falscara. It is so very easy, you guys. You know that I am usually one that is not able to wear lash extensions, but this right here, mm, I don't know. This might be my new go-to, you guys. So if you do try out the Kiss Falscara Lash Extension Kit, go ahead and tag me here on Instagram because I would love to check it out. So look how I've been able to just transform my eyelashes in just three easy steps, you guys. I am really loving it. Okay, so let's get into this makeup. Now I have very oily skin and large appearing pores. So I've been working on ways to tailor my makeup routine so that I can stay matte for longer and so that my skin looks more smooth. So I'm going to be sharing with you some of the changes that I've been making to my routine. Now, I know that you guys on Instagram and Facebook, some of you guys have already noticed that I have made some changes to my makeup routine. So thank you so very much for all of the kind words and all the compliments. So today I had already done my skincare routine, but it had been a couple of hours. So I was just using some micellar water just to prep my skin. And the brand that I use is Garnier Fructis. Okay, so usually I do prep my skin with a skin primer, but lately I have been using my setting powder. Now this is the Maybelline Fit Me, the mattifying powder, pore minimizing powder, and I use it all over. Now some people I've seen them use translucent powder, but I need something that is going to absorb the excess oil from my skin. So by putting a light layer of this down, I've noticed that my face looks matte for longer. Okay, the next thing that I have been doing, instead of putting on a lot of foundation all at once, I actually do it in light layers and just build up the coverage. Also too, you'll notice that I'm not wiping or spreading the foundation on like I've done in other videos. Now I'm actually using small circular buffing type you know motions and the reason I do this is because with the texture on my skin you know the pores when I just use the brush and just wipe it or sweep it across my skin you can actually see my pores more visibly up close but when I do the small circular buffing motions and when I do the light layers and just build the foundation up you guys it makes such a big difference so if you are looking for a way to just make your skin look more smooth and just to make it look, you know, just more put together and less textured, then definitely try the small circular buffing motion. Okay, so for my highlight and concealer under my eyes and my chin and all that, in the past I've used a concealer, but I found that most concealers have oil and they make my under eye really, really oily. I start to crease and everything starts to break down very quickly, even when I set it. So what I've started to use is a foundation as my under eye concealer. And the one that I'm using is the Revlon Colorstay. It is for combination oily skin. So, so far I've really been, you know, liking the way this has been working with my skin. And as you see here, I'm not sweeping it or wiping it across my face. I'm using a, like a stippling motion just to press the product into my skin. Again, everything is just geared toward making my skin look more matte and you know hiding the imperfections. Okay, so I'm setting everything with my yellow based or my banana based powder and as you can see again I'm not sweeping anything I'm just stippling it in pressing it in and I'm no longer baking I'm putting just a very light veil and you know I don't have to worry about it creasing as much because I'm not letting it sit there and you know it's not really piled or caked on so 
I don't bake anymore, I just put a light veil. Okay, now for my eyes, keeping it very basic and simple, you guys, I know that I did promise that I was going to do an emerald green eye look for you, but the palette that I bought was not good. You guys, it really was just poor quality. The powders or the eyeshadows, they didn't stay on my face no matter how much primer I put down, no matter how many layers I put down. So it just was not a good quality. So I am not going to share that palette with you. So I'm still on the hunt for a nice emerald green palette because I really like that color story. So I do want to do a look with that. So if you have any recommendations for me, then go ahead and share them below. Okay, so now I'm going in again with my all over face powder. Again, that's the Maybelline Fit Me powder. And to contour, this is something that I'm doing a little bit differently as well. So instead of using a cream contour, I want to continue with the mattifying look of my skin. So I'm actually loving the powder contour instead. So it's almost like a bronze contour all in one for me. And as you can see, it's subtle enough and I don't have to worry about blending because you know what, I am still new to this whole makeup game and I find that sometimes the cream contours are a bit more difficult for me personally to blend out but I do like the powder contour so I'm using that, I like it. This is I think Mocha in the same Maybelline Fit Me line and then because we don't want any harsh lines, right? So I'm just using that same powder brush, I didn't take up any new product I just use that same powder brush just to kind of blur everything and make it look seamless. Now under my eyes again, like I said, I do have some texture, you know, some fine lines. So instead of using my eyeshadow brush and dragging the eyeshadow across, I'm actually just using again that stippling motion that you see right there. So I'm still getting the product where you can see it, but I'm not dragging my skin. So, you know, it's less pulling and tugging so we don't, you know, create creases. Now this tip right here, I cannot remember if I got it from watching Savannah Silva here on YouTube or Mena Adubia, but for my nose contour, I have started to take just whatever product was left from my contour and just using a small brush and just kind of detailing the borders of my nose. You guys, this is perfect. I wish I could remember whose channel I saw it on first but I think that it's a game changer because as you can see, my nose contour is very delicate. It doesn't look too chiseled. It looks very natural. It's really just bringing my nose back onto my face, you know? So I like that tip. Again, I watch Mena Adubia and Savannah Silva. Both of them have amazing channels here on YouTube. All right, so usually I know most people like to use very bold and pigmented eye pencils underneath their eye, but for me, I just find that with my texture as well as with my oily skin, that heavy pigment tends to give me raccoon eyes after a few hours. So I actually like to use a pencil that is less pigmented or maybe even one that is like a very dark gray color because I find that works better and I don't get that same raccoon look after a few hours. Now for my eyebrows, I just filled them in with this eyebrow pencil and I believe it is the one from IT Cosmetics. Um, I need to laminate my eyebrows again <laughs> so they don't look as good as they could look, but yeah, you get the picture. Filling in my eyebrows. You guys know I have a thing for eyebrows and eyelashes. Okay, so my go-to highlighter is the one with the Wet and Wild Fergie collaboration. This one has really pretty pink undertones. And when I want to intensify the look or the pigment deposition of whatever I'm using, then I use my finger. You see like on the bridge of my nose and kind of like the high points of my cheek. That way I can really intensify the look just a little bit, you know, give it more detail. Now on this particular day, I was being super extra, you guys. You know, it's almost summertime, so I want that summertime golden glow. So I'm using this other Wet n Wild. Um, I think it's another highlighter as well. It's very pretty, really, really pretty. Okay, and for my blush. So usually I go in with my Tarte Feisty or Fiesty, depending on, you know, where you're from. But today I wanted to try something different. So I'm using this 
Um, I believe it came in one of my Ipsy bags. Everything that I use, if I can, I will link it in the description box if you guys want to check it out for yourself, okay? All right, now onto my hair. I'm using my Murray's Edge Wax Extreme Hold. I like this because it doesn't give me any flaking and it does a very good job. You know, I don't need to lay my baby hairs. It's just not something I need to do. So I just use my Murray's Edge Wax as well as my Dollar Tree brush and I just brush up the edges of my hair. You know, I mean, I'm a busy woman, you guys. I just don't have the time to lay the baby hair. I also don't have the time to change my hairstyle as often as I would like, okay? So having this little go-to hairstyle, a little razzle-dazzle headband, and voila, there we go. So that's the final look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave me a comment down below. You guys know I love to chat it up in the comment section. Also, too, I'm going to edit another video here where I showed swatches of the Revlon lip stain, you guys. Very beautiful colors. So stay tuned for that video. Okay, until next time, remember... I am Sharonda Simone, and I will either see you at the top or from the top. You decide. Bye. Oh, you know, you know.